Hello everyone, welcome to a comparison video between Notion versus Taskade. Now this is a video that you need if you want to choose between Taskade or Notion. So as you can see, Taskade and Notion compared. Now both Taskade and Notion aim to challenge the traditional collaboration workflows that rely on single purpose tools like you know Confluence, Jira, Trello, Google Docs, Sheets and others, right? So as you can see, this is how Taskade looks, right? It's a really simple interface. The pricing is free. They have advanced features starting from $5 uh, per user per month. And as you can see, this is a rating 4.5 out of 5 on Captera. Now, I would say, you know, uh, Taskade is a really simple tool compared to Notion. It's not as, uh, you know, it's definitely not as complicated as Notion. It's more for tasks and simple things to do, right? To-do lists and stuff like that, while Notion, on the other hand, is more so a, a platform for, uh, you know, more in-demand stuff like databases and, uh, you know, stuff like that, right? Uh, as you can see, while Notion has built an almost cult-like following and amassed millions of avid users, Taskade is more of a hidden gem, right? Uh, Taskade describes itself as a remote work OS. It's a remote work tool that brings together Kanban boards, to-do lists, calendars, mind maps, and more. Now, as you can see, it's a more simplistic uh, kind of notion, right? In a sense, uh, where you're not really using that many tools like you're using in Notion. So as you can see, Taskit is simpler than Notion and easier to get started with. It supports video calls, time blocking, and other functionality related to working with calendars. It also offers additional data visualization options, right? Allowing you to create mind maps and organizational charts. Taskade has a generous free plan and its unlimited plan is more affordable for teams probably than Notion, right? Now, as you can see, here are some of the users' reviews. In my opinion, Taskade is kind of like Notion of steroids for project management with team collaboration. Don't get me wrong, but Notion is the best for its flexibility as in uh, unstructured way with databases and such. Taskade is just easy to use as Notion is a great for to-do list, project management, and team collaboration. Now, here's the Notion, right? Obviously, everyone knows Notion. Notion is a great platform. Um, you know, it is a little bit more complex for a beginner. I would definitely recommend, if you're a beginner, go with Taskade. Um, now, pricing for Notion is free. Advanced features are starting from $8 per user per month, which is a little bit more than, uh, I would say, $3 more than um, Taskade. Now, rating is 4.7. Notion is one of those tools you don't need no introduction. With over 30 million users, it's one of the most popular productivity tools. Now, here's why you might prefer Notion over Taskade. Notion makes it easier to work with structured, long-form content, allowing you to create wikis, websites, blogs, and more. Notion offers a web clipper, allowing you to save any web page into Notion, right? And Notion offers powerful databases, making it easy to sort and filter your data. Notion is more flexible when it comes to layouts. So when we come to comparison between these two, right? Uh, Taskade is easier to use. It's more simple to use. Uh, it costs less, right? It's great for teams, for project management. While on the other hand, Notion is a more complex uh, platform. Uh, it offers a lot more, but it also uh, offers a lot, uh, you know, a bigger learning curve, I would say, or a longer learning curve, right? And it's more flexible, right? It's, it's definitely more flexible. If I want to choose between Taskade and Notion, I would choose Notion. But again, if you want something simpler and something that you don't want, you know, 30 days or 40 days to learn, then definitely use Taskade. So who is the winner here? I would definitely say Taskade because it's much more simpler, but that's just my opinion, right? Maybe you prefer Notion and you prefer, uh, you, you know, you need Notion for your databases, then definitely use Notion. But for me, Taskade is a clear winner here, obviously because of the price, because of the simplistic way and, uh, you know, they build the app and also uh, because of the features, it has less features, but these features that they have are really powerful. So comment down below, which one do you think wins? I would say the skate because in my opinion, it's much better tool for me personally. But yeah, comment down below and let's see. And obviously subscribe to this channel if you want more videos like this. Thank you guys for watching.